In this video, we are going to be familiarizing you with the data capture, recording and analysis functions of VDAS and VDAS eLab, which can be used both in the lab and remotely with VDAS enabled products from Tech Equipment. First of all, we're going to be familiarizing you with the layout options. Each of the Tech Equipment VDAS enabled products have a default layout that are shown in the options area. You simply select the experiment and it appears on your screen. Each of the VDAS enabled tech equipment teaching products have a very different layout. As you can see, the wind tunnel is very different to the MFP 101 centrifugal pump module. These are the default layout options you can customize yourself. And you can use here, right here, we have the online help option. This takes you through every detailed element, whether that is customizing your layout or creating custom charts and graphs. Now onto the toolbar, which contains different tools depending on the apparatus being used. For example, the air conditioning trainer, the EC1501, has buttons for enthalpy and psychrometric charts. Then comes all the individual display sections of data groups. Here you're going to see all the input variables such as motor speeds and pressure displays, etc. From the basics, to start capturing data and recording it, you press this button. You can also record data using the F4 key on your keyboard. On some experiments, such as the free and forced vibrations experiment and pipe surgeon water hammer experiment, you can see this looks like an oscilloscope display with a grid of lines to help you to roughly measure the length and amplitude of the traces. Now we're going to focus on data tables. Each time data is collected from the instruments on the experiment by pressing this button, rows of data are added to the data series shown in a data table. If several series of data have been collected, you can view these from the drop-down list. Custom charts can also be created simply by selecting the data of the X and Y axes. You then have options to join points, add colors and symbols, titles, grid lines, point values, and set the origin values. You can also zoom into your chart, draw freehand lines, add a best fit line, or even integrate an equation into the chart. When your chart has been tweaked, it can be saved as a graphic image file, or the page can be set up to print directly from VDAS. One very powerful aspect is the ability to perform time data capture using the Start Time Data Acquisition Toolbar button. In this GUI, you can select the time interval between each set of results and the total of readings or time. Now let's talk about the Save and Export option. To save, you simply click on the file, click Save, and you will generate a DAT file. What a DAT file is, it's a combined file that includes all the data and the form layout. You can share this with others using VDAS, again, like this. Simply click on File, Open, Select. If you want to view in another format, you need to use the Export function. For this, you press the Export Recorded Data to XLSS. X file button exporting in a spreadsheet format. There's also the option to export as a HTML for the majority of experiments as well. For more information about VDAS and VDAS eLab, don't forget to click on the links in the description box below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to Tech Equipment's YouTube channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching.